address the question of how everybody is reacting to the press or on the left. But first, a reminder with regards to what you mentioned earlier. John Brennan, who's accusing the president of being a traitor, voted for the Communist Party at the height of the Cold War in 1976, when the Soviet Union actually wanted to destroy America. That's treasonous. Vladimir Putin is a bad guy. He's a bad actor. But the Russian Federation is not the Soviet Union. And as far as I know, Donald Trump never voted for the Communist Party at the height of the Cold War. So let's just put that on the record. With regards to the reactions to t today's summit, uh, it, it's a little bit like the stroke testimony. You saw the unveiling of the deep state last week with strokes testimony. Today, you really saw the depths of the mainstream media. Nobody in that room behaved like a journalist. They were like members of moveon.org or the, or the resistance. The idea that we had a chance to talk about big issues, saving hundreds of thousands of lives in Syria, the question of Ukraine's national sovereignty, and instead they want to prepare perpetuate this bogus collusion narrative. They came out of the closet. There is no journalism uh, on the mainstream.